Hi, my name is Alex Supunky, and I'm an automation specialist here at ServiceNow. I'm going to demonstrate how the ServiceNow graphical workflow engine executes workflows to automate a multi-step process. The graphical workflow editor is a user interface for defining workflows. Let's take a look at it. When you enter workflow in the type filter text field, the workflow editor may show up multiple times. If the workflow editor is not listed, it may mean you don't have the right roles to access it. Contact your ServiceNow administrator to request access. Clicking on any of these links will take you to the editor. This is the workflow canvas, where you create and display workflows. From here, you can create a new workflow or open an existing one. We'll open an existing one. As you can see, the ServiceNow base system includes workflows for some common processes. Let's take a look at the routine change workflow, which operates on the change request table. As indicated here, you can personalize the list to display this table field. Each workflow executes a sequence of activities, such as generating records or running scripts, and transitions between them based on conditions. Workflows are created from the activity menu, which includes various types of approvals, conditions, and notifications. Also, here you can generate a task, set a timer, or call another workflow. And if you subscribe to Runbook Automation, you can even automate other tasks to be completed outside of ServiceNow, such as resetting a password or rebooting a server. On this routine change workflow, we see that the first step is to set values. The next step is manager approval and so forth. Let's step through this workflow with a real change request to see how it executes. First, we'll take a look at the workflow's properties to see what conditions trigger it. According to this, the condition is type is routine. And here it indicates if the condition matches, ServiceNow will run the workflow. Since this workflow operates on a change request, we'll create a new change request. We know from its properties that the routine change workflow executes when type is routine. So let's set that here. Also notice that at this point, the approval field value is not yet requested. But once we save this record, the approval field is set to requested. Scrolling down to the related link section, we see the show workflow link, indicating that a workflow is running on the change request. Clicking the link displays the workflow context, which performs all the activities and transitions for this record, as defined in the workflow. And here we see that the approval requested step is complete, and the current step is manager approval. Normally, the assigned manager would review and approve this request. But for this demo, I'll approve it as an administrator. And now the workflow context shows that the manager has approved the request, and the system has set the change approved value. So the next step is to create a routine change task. Let's go back to the change request and check. Yes, the approval field is now set to approved. And on the change task tab, we see the workflow has automatically generated a routine change task. Closing this task should complete the workflow. Let's see. If the workflow context is already open, you can click this refresh icon to display the updated workflow. And indeed, this workflow is now complete. So that concludes our demonstration of how the graphical workflow engine works and how to view workflows in the workflow editor. If you have additional questions, please visit our wiki or knowledge base or ask a question in our ServiceNow community. Thanks.